it's up to me. You want eggs? Mar just lost it. <laughs> What's up, girl? She's cute. Liza, it's been a long time since I've seen you on Vine. Sean Mendez is coming up. Oh, my. Yeah, by going to sleep. <laughs> Staying in bed and going to sleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the graduation ceremony 2020. I'll be participating virtually like probably most of us. Congratulations. Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're all graduates. First graduate is Ryan Charles Bellissimo. I'm kidding. You tell him, Liza. Nothing can hold us back. Who's that? And they're all wearing black masks. I'd be doing that same thing. Black masks matter. No, I'm just kidding. No justice equals no peace. I think I've seen these guys before. I recognize a few faces, but is this the high school musical game? Thank you 
you so much to the AMGA College of Performing Arts Choir. Shawn Mendes. Oh my God, you're so cute. You guys are amazing, and I hope that wherever your post-graduation journey takes you. Why does he look like Harry Styles, though? Yeah, thank you so much. And to the entire class of 2020 graduates. I'm sorry, Shawn Mendes fans. You. you should be so proud of yourself. Take care of yourself, and do what you love to do in life. Take yeah, and take your vitamins hey guys, if you can. We're the Merrill Twins, and we're here at home having our own. The Merrill Twins. What's up, girls? Never heard of you guys, but are you on TikTok? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't like TikTok. We also have some friends watching. Say hi. Vine all day, every day. Oh god, not President Obama. Billy Eilish, what's up, girl? Since we launched Reach Higher back in 2014, we had one clear goal in mind. Why are the Obamas in this? Knowing they're the ones that let this crap in anyway. No, and they're the ones that are letting Biden run for president. Every single one of you has something to offer, and I can't wait to see what you all achieve in the months and years ahead. We know he's not going to make it with his old self. Hello, everybody, and congratulations to the class of 2020. This is a huge day for all of you, and we couldn't be more excited to be so You're excited. making my day worse. <laughs> now, while you might not get the Seven. experience of sweating under your cap and gown, I'm not even outside. I'm not even going outside. Break that. With a bunch of riots in my town. Mm -mm. Not, no. Unless I bring pepper spray. But I don't know how to use that now, do I? What freaking dance? This lady, do you know anything about a dance? So today huh? is the culmination of a long journey. Think back to when you first were of all, starting, when were year, you even there? Just that my Since when did you care? People, Obama. Skills, get yourself ready for your next step. College, Ain't nobody give a flip about Obama care. Maybe your first job. You accomplished all that. And then just as In fact, he Obama has freaking gray time, hair. Okay, I'm gonna stop spitting bars now. So these past few months, you've had to reach even higher. You were just adjusting. Yeah, we worked so hard all for this crap to happen. Thanks, China. You weren't just taking your finals online. You were making sure you. I took my finals not online. In fact, my internet sucks. I had to do packets, which is way better. You were supporting them through all this uncertainty. That's a lot to ask of anybody, but in spite of it all, here you are. And we want you to know yeah, here we are, listening to you blab your freaking jaws off, which we do not want to freaking hear. We've seen it for decades. The more education you have, the better you and your families are likely to fare. It's been borne out over the past couple of months, and it will be the case for years to come. All you want us to do is freaking get hacked into. Hold your heads high Zoom and is awful. Like, we really want to get hacked into by freaking COVID trackers. Or spam bots. Oh, the spam bots. But the important thing is to celebrate. Congratulations again, everybody. And now we hope you enjoy the rest of this once-in-a-lifetime commencement. Oh, we won't. It's going to be great. Proud of you. Dear class of 2020, I wish that the past of this point started high school, this road's been changing under our feet. We faced hurricanes, floods, and wildfires. Yeah, now we're gonna have to deal with more wildfires because Newsom ain't gonna do a thing about it. Social distance, they said. It's wildfire season, they said. We're gonna have more wildfires now. Our year, 
that's just real nice. Y'all know what's gonna happen. But fellow graduates, I hate my governor so bad. I wish he would just be hung from a noose. High school have been our mountain, and we're learning to climb. If these years are supposed to prepare us for life, maybe what we're figuring out is not only how to hunker down and deal, but how to get involved, to do our part, to do extra, so we face our challenges head on. Yeah, man. Although the road before us isn't easy, we've got to remember we are not alone. Our family, our teachers, our mentors, and our community, they've helped us get where we are. But we've got each other. Together, we'll always find our way across the state. Yeah, we're at, though. We're at, though. On our phones. On our computers, the freight quarantine life safer, kinder, and more sustainable than before. Because we're not just ready to be in a world of change, we are also ready to be the change in the world. Today, I would describe myself as a fearless leader. Four years ago, I would never imagine, you know, that I'd be doing that. My name is Imer Williams. I'm from West Philadelphia. Imer Williams, never heard of you. You seem like a cool guy. For the past 18 years, all I've experienced is the inner city. I finally did something new, something different. Living in the inner city can be really hard for many reasons. There's a lot of. I'm gonna let y'all know something, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I almost lost my father a few years ago. He was shot seven times. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm really close to losing people that you're really like close to that you love that can make it really hard my goals are to one day teach in the inner city and use my passion for education to help students want to do better and strive to one day stop this cycle of gun violence and adversity yeah and now we got riots they need jesus in fact most of these riots are being hired to do the crap that they're doing today it's not even about george floyd anymore it's about what they want to do Obama is so sending now, this crap out. On the Philadelphia Board of Education. Why can't he just get a freaking room? In our district. I barely could speak up for myself, but now speaking up for thousands of other students. I'm really proud of what I've become, and I'm really proud of the journey that I've taken. I will be attending Westchester University of Pennsylvania in the fall to study middle grades education. The thought that I'm going to be a teacher in four years is something that really ignites this huge blazing fire inside of me and I can't wait to start. Hey guys, it's Taylor. I want to Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Graduates this year. I know this probably isn't the kind of graduation you thought you were going to be having. Um, I relate to that in a lot of ways. When I was younger, I used to fantasize about high school graduation and you know, being with all of your friends and cap and gown and the whole thing. And then when I got to that point in my life, graduation was coming up, I found myself on radio tour with my mom in rental cars, sitting on the floors of airports, and I ended up getting nailed my diploma. So it wasn't exactly what I had pictured, um, but I was still really proud of it, and I guess one good lesson to come from it is, is expect the unexpected, but celebrate anyway. I'm so yep. proud of you guys. And I Just throw a party anyway. Don't listen to the governor of California, people. Billy Island! Billy! I'm so happy for you, and I wanted to wish you the best of luck for your journeys and for your futures. I love you guys. Congratulations. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> we love you, Billy. And emergency grants from Scholarship America. We are thrilled that corporate, philanthropic, and education donors are rising to the challenge and contributing funds to support students in need. Thank you. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll rise. <laughs> Oh my god, Beyonce, your hair. You look so different. Or is that not Beyonce? 
Oh, her hair has changed. Now she's spitting bars. <laughs> I didn't know Bill I didn't know that Beyonce did ballet. I did ballet too, girl. I miss it. I miss dancing. I guess in the title of this video is I Rise. Alright, all rise for court is now in session. <laughs> Today we got, uh, let's see, justice for George Floyd. <laughs> Thank you, President Obama and Mrs. Obama for including me in this very special Oh event. my god. And congratulations. Wait, that wasn't Beyonce. 2020. You have arrived here in the middle This of is the real crisis, Beyonce. A racial pandemic and worldwide Dang, girl. of outrage at the senseless killing of yet another unarmed black human being. And you still made it. We're so proud of you. Here we go again. Way to ruin that speech. Have left us all broken. It has left the entire country searching for answers. We've seen that our collective hearts, when put to positive action, could start the wheels of change. Real change has started with you. This new generation of high school and college graduates who we celebrate today. I did not get to experience college like some of you. Or the campus parties that left you struggling. I doubt my college. I doubt my college teachers are even gonna. College professors are even gonna like me because my disability. Let's just be glad that I'm not a graduate this year. talking out there everything about your decision uh. but know that stepping out is the best thing you can do for self discovery say I what how hard it is to step out and bet on yourself <laughs> they're just trying it's when taking me off cuz this is land of the free and you can speak whenever the frick you I want to trust that I was ready. china has and no and no rule over us they have they have no right to control <sighs> us they do not rule us. It's still very sexist. It's still very male dominated. And as a woman, I did not see enough female role models given the opportunity to do what I knew I had to do to run my label and management company, to direct my films and produce my tours. That meant ownership, owning my masters, owning my art, owning my future, and writing my own story. Not enough black women had a seat at the table. So I had to go and chop down that wood and build my Yet own black table. folks are still being and unemployed. Racist. There was to have a seat. All for that skin tone? Like, are you freaking serious? Outsiders, underdogs, 
people that were overlooked and waiting to be seen. Many of the best creatives and business people, who although supremely qualified and talented, were turned down over and over as executives at major corporations because they were female or because of racial disparity. And I've been very proud to provide them with a place at my team. One of the main purposes of my art for many years has been dedicated to showing the beauty of black people to the world, our history, our profundity, and the value of black lives. My Here we go again. To the veil of appeasement to those who may feel uncomfortable with our excellence. To the young women, our future leaders, know that you're about to make the world turn. I see you. You are everything the world needs. Make those power moves. Be excellent. And to the young kings, lean into your vulnerability and redefine masculinity. Lead with heart. There's so many different ways to be brilliant. I believe you and every human being is born with a masterful gift. Don't make the world make you feel that you have to look a certain way to be brilliant. And no, you don't have to speak a certain way to be brilliant. But you do have to spread your gift around the planet in a way that is authentically you. To all those who feel different, if you're a part of a group that's called Other, a group that does not, get the chance to be center stage. Build your own stage and make them see you. Your queerness is beautiful. Your blackness is beautiful. Your compassion, your understanding, your fight for people who may be different from you is beautiful. I hope you continue to go into the world and show them that you will never stop being yourself, that it's your time now. Make them see you. Now, if you've ever been called dumb, unattractive, overweight, unworthy, untalented, well, so have I. Whatever you do, don't let negativity of people projecting their own self-doubts on you deter you from your focus. I know those moments are painful, and you're human, and it hurts like hell, but now is the time to turn those criticisms into fuel and motivation to become a beautiful beast. Respect is everything. There's no successful relationship without respect, nor a successful movement if the basic principle is not respect. The world will respect you as much as you respect yourself. I'm often asked, what's your secret to success? The shorter answer, put in that work. There may be more failures than victories. Yes, I've been blessed to have 24 Grammys, but I've lost 46 times. That meant rejection 46 times. Please don't ever feel entitled to win. Just keep working harder. Surrender to the cards you are dealt. It's from that surrender that you get your power. Losing can be the best motivator to get you even bigger wins. So never compare yourself to anyone else. There will be wins and losses. There will be tears and laughter. You'll feel the shades of life deeply. Now with success comes challenges. With your wins, you may start to notice people spending a lot of energy trying to tear you down. Try not to take it personally. Unfortunately, it's something that comes along with success. Whenever you feel like you're not in control or the world is against you, let that vulnerability motivate you into greatness. That's how I found my true self. I remain a work in progress, and that's the beauty of growth. I've been happiest when I let go and allow life to show me the next move. When you bet on yourself, you're making an investment into your own future. When you choose to spend your valuable time thinking, speaking, typing negative thoughts, you're investing in something that will give you absolutely no return in your investment. Class of 2020, every thought in your mind is powerful. Every word you speak is powerful. Every action you take has consequences for yourself and your community. Look what you've been able to do in the last 14 days. We've seen the power of the collective. We've seen what happens when we join for the same cause. Please continue to be the voice for the voiceless. Never forget, we can disagree in a way that is productive to arrive at decisions that foster real change. And if you make a mistake, that's okay too but we all have a responsibility to hold ourselves accountable and change. Whatever the world looks like in 10 years and 20 years, 
part of that is up to you. I urge you to let this current moment push you to improve yourself in all areas of your life, at work, at home, activism, spirituality, wherever you can find hope, follow it. And remember, you are never alone. Lean on that strength of togetherness. Keep the collective strong. Stay focused. Don't talk about what you're going to do. Don't just dream about what you're going to do. Don't criticize somebody else for what they're not doing. You be it. Be about it. Be about that action and go do it. Keep your eye on your intention. Don't let any outside distraction or your own insecurity stop you from your goals. Embrace that struggle. Surviving that struggle will strengthen you. This is a crucial time in our history and in your life. The earth is ripping that band-aid off so we can really see our wounds. So we can acknowledge and nurture them. That's when true healing begins. You can be that leader we all need. You can lead the movement that celebrates humanity. My prayer for you is that you invest in yourself and see the value of giving back and building your community the best way you can. I pray that you continue to celebrate and value lives that appear different than your own. I know you are ready to start one of the most important journeys of your life. You are at the brink of a huge world shift. Look how far you've come. And how much you contribute. Keep pushing. Forget the fear. Forget the doubt. Keep investing and keep betting on yourself. And congratulations. You know what? Beyonce. I don't know what to say about that. You've really taught me something, girl. You really taught me something. <laughs> Thank you. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.